I got cut off mid rant, didn't I? Got cut off mid rant, someone rang my phone. While I'm on that point, yeah, the Palestinian Authority, I never knew this. So I went there not knowing too much, wanting to find out more. Met Muslims. All the Muslims I spoke to who live in Israel, I said, like, are you oppressed? <laughs> Am I oppressed? They, la they laughed at me like I was a moron. Yeah? I can go to mosque five times a day. You know, he actually said, where do you think I want to live? In Syria. And he started pointing over Syria. You, want, you think I want to live over there? Because I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. And I asked, because I want to find out. I asked all of them. Yeah? I asked all Muslims. I went to the refugee camp. And when I was in refugee camp, what I didn't realise, which you probably didn't realise, the Palestinian Authority, who receive British taxpayers' money, our, our tax money, yeah, they receive. They pay, say they pay the equivalent of £3,000 a month to anyone, anyone who comes out of the refugee camps, any Palestinian that kills an Israeli. They get £3,000 a month for the rest of their life. So I looked at my mate, Dean, who I, went, I grew up from school with, yeah? We hear about poverty uh, being the cause of radicalisation, all these things in England. We walked around a refugee camp, met these kids, I've got kids, looked at these children who've got nothing, fourth generation refugees. And then you tell their mums and dads that you'll pay them £3,000 a month for the rest of their life if they just go kill an Israeli. And that's what they go and do. So then I realised, shit, this isn't actually totally a religious conflict. They're mercenaries being paid. And you know what? If I looked around and I had to think, I thought, if, if I was in this situation or many men in this situation, you want to do whatever you can do for your family and your children to have, have, have a chance in life. And if you're a fourth generation refugee and you're looking around at a refugee camp at, the, at your kids, what hope have they got? You get £3,000 a month. Just go kill, go kill an Israeli. And he corrected me. I said, kill Jews. And, it, and he corrected me. No, kill an Israeli. I don't care if it's a Muslim Israeli. Just go kill an Israeli. Three grand a month. The Palestinian Authority funded by the British taxpayers. That's what they get. I found out so much about that conflict by, start, by my time there. And by my time getting on the ground. So, so many people commenting about it. Some of these left-wingers who love Palestine. Never been there. You've never even been there. Yeah. I actually went on to... I spent time in a Fatah controlled. Yeah. I shipped myself on the day I was going now. I'll, I'll try and find a video now and upload it. Because they didn't know who I was. If they found out who I was, I'd be dead. But I went there and at the end I sat down with the lad and videoed it. Where I told him who I was. And he said, why? I said, because I had to understand your argument. I couldn't come here and just listen to Jews. I couldn't hear a Jewish perspective on this whole thing. So I done a full on week there, go, go every single day. It was the best, uh, best trip I've ever done in my life. Yeah? To find out from either side, tell us what's going on. So I could understand it a bit more. And what I found is that Fatah, Hamas, they're terrorist organisations who would massacre everyone who's not Muslim. That's the reality of it. And they're in control because they were elected. There's no more elections after that. They liked democracy once, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but that's it. And it's the side of evil, so, yeah. And it is disgusting. It's terrible when you see children are being killed, yeah. But then also, you, I watch many videos. Watch Pallywood. There's many of these things are set up. These videos are set up. I'm not saying all of them are now. But what I'm saying is Hamas put their, their, their weapons and their rockets. They hide them in schools. They use the schools. They plan for this. They're happy to sacrifice 50 dead, 100 dead, 300 dead, 500 dead, so long as it brings in more billions of pounds to them, whilst all the leaders of mass fly around in private jets, whilst attacking continuously, attacking Israel. Israel, not Jews, because that's what I found out as well, which I was really surprised about. It was like, no, just killing Israeli. And as I went around, on, on all the sides of the buildings, who's this? Ah, oh, that person blew up a bus and killed these many people. When well, your children are being brought up to believe that these are, these are martyrs. We have a problem, yeah? But anyway, it's my rant over. I'd wish there was no conflict. I wish no one was dying. But when they are dying and all I get from the education system in this country is an anti-Israel message and everyone, ha Palestine, 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 yeah? All you women out there screaming Palestine, you go walk down the streets of Palestine. See how you get on with your little skirt on and that. See how you get on. All you gays, you go see how you get on over there. Because you'll be thrown off the rooftop straight away. All right? It's not a beautiful place. Israel is beautiful. One of the most beautiful places I've been in my life. Beautiful country. So, and look what they've done with that little bit of land. Create beauty. All right, see you later.